Tin Pan Alley is one of my favorite sort of slow minor blues of all time. I absolutely love it. It's challenging and it's not something that you can pick up very quickly. Um, I sort of go back to it time and time again, trying to pick up little bits that I can. And, uh, you know, obviously like, like most mortals, uh, I'm not really anything like Stevie Ray Vaughan, but I'll give it my best shot. And uh, what we've got here is a, lot, a sort of series of short videos going through the first minute to minute and a half of Tim Pan Alley. Today we've got about the first 15 seconds and I think I'll split it up 15 to 20 seconds just because I find if the videos, if the, if the tutorial's too long, you sort of don't quite focus on each bit enough and um, this way you can work through in a sequence and spend as long as you need to on each part. So I hope I've gone into depth enough, but please let me know down in the comments if you'd like more. I'm looking for someone who'd be willing to tab out some of these videos for me um, for not too much money and uh, then I'm going to set up a Patreon to do to, to sort of have the tabs along with the lesson if you pay for the Patreon. I think it's pretty standard stuff on YouTube um, but obviously that takes a lot of extra effort and time and money so yeah but um, anyway let's go straight into the lesson. At the end of the video we'll talk about the, uh, the gear that I've used and about the pedal giveaway that I'm doing. All right guys, let's go over some of those first few phrases. So, we're at the seventh fret, and we're in the key of B. And uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan plays it tuned down to E flat, so he's often uh, up there, one fret up, but we're not today, or I'm not. And what you start with is fret nine of the fourth string, and frets seven of the third and second. And so it's part of the B minor chord. And you're going to hit that, and then you're going to hit fret 7 of the 3rd string. And then what we're going to do is, on the 3rd string, you're going to quickly slide up and down from the ninth to the 10th. And then hit the 7th fret and then on the 4th string, the ninth fret. So then it's fret 10 of the B string. So on the first time, he's sliding up and down. And the second time, you can bend it up and down. So, so far. So if we slow that right down, Okay, and then hammer on from the 7th to the 9th on the 3rd string. And then the 7th fret of the B string. And then the 7th fret of the G string. So pull off from the 9th to the 7th on the D string. And then 9th fret of the A string. And then we're going to do a hammer on and off from the 7th to the 8th fret of the A string. And then the... 10th uh, and 7th of the E string. And then we're going to bar uh, the 7th fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd and we're going to hammer on and off on the 4th string between the 7th and 9th. So, so far we've got Okay, and then next, we're going to slide up from the 8th to the 9th fret of the A string. And then we're going to go onto the uh, 9th fret of the low E string. Then we're going to play the 8th on the 4th string, the 9th on the 3rd string, and the 10th on the 2nd string along with that. And that's actually basically the Hendrix chord, which we often play here. But what we're doing is here. And then we get to the ultimate start, really, it feels like. Now, that is bending up the ninth fret of the third string. And then the seventh fret of the uh, second and first. And then I'm barring the whole minor chord. And that's because he doesn't. He will bar the 
ninth fret of the fourth string, the top three strings at the seventh fret, and the bottom string on the seventh. And he'll mute probably the A string with the, the tip of his index finger. And the thing is, in the heat of the moment, I can get it a lot of the time, but not all the time when something rings out wrongly, so I would just prefer to play. So, let's go over that a bit quicker, just one more time. Um, so we start. And there we go. I um, I think it's a really good place to stop because the next bit starts to get more complicated and faster and moves position. So uh, I am planning on making that video in the next week. But you could, um, if you want to, you could learn this, watch this video four or five times slowly, get used to it and um, really enjoy it. And then listen to the track. Um, there's the live track. I can put, I can find a, a version of it and put a link in the description. <laughs> Cool, well I hope you enjoyed that and today's gear, because I always go through the gear, is this Case Guitars, that's a British guitar maker, all handmade. Case Guitars in a 62 to 63 style. It's really a 62 style because it doesn't have the veneer of rosewood on the fretboard, it has the slab, so it's, it's an earlier type. And uh, that's got some JW Restoration pickups. I'm actually in the neck pickup. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan in this one, I think, doesn't use the bridge a lot, except uh, he does something like this. And I think I saw him change to the bridge pickup for that, but we'll get to that next time. Um, and I'm through my Lazy J Tweed amp, which you might not think probably sounded uh, well, what might what might you expect for Stevie Ray Vaughan? That edge and beyond of breakup on a Strat, it sounds good through tweed, blackface. Whatever amp you've got, the key is to give it a big open sound with reverb and not too compressed. So I hope you found that useful. And uh, again, let me know if you want me to go slower, faster, break it down into smaller chunks. Um, you know, I'm just sort of starting to do my YouTube um, tutorial videos. Uh, thanks for all the responses to the BB King one that I did which I really enjoyed and I'm gonna continue doing some BB King sort of phrasing videos and uh, bending, you know, how he bent strings and stuff. Um, talking of BB, uh, this is the pedal giveaway. Now, it's not BB King, but it's BB as in blues breaker on this side and a, a sort of Nashville overdrive on this side. Two quite different types of pedal, much more open and um, transparent and more harmonic and overdriven on this side. They go really well together. So this is the Protein by Brown. I'll be giving this away on seven and a half thousand subs. You just have to subscribe and comment and then you'll be in the giveaway. So yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep up with what's going on uh, with these tutorials and I'll see you on the next one.